Years ago, a local doctor started a study on fatty liver disease. As the name suggests, too much fat accumulates in the liver, which in some cases can lead to cancer or even death. It is a disease that's prevalent in the Hispanic community. Here at home, so many patients showed up to help out with that study that a research team is now working on a drug to possibly cure this disease. Courtney Friedman explains how you can help. Fatty liver disease is the number one cause of liver transplantation in the U.S. today. And right now, there's no treatment or cure. Too much fat accumulates in the liver. It then causes inflammation, fibrosis, inflammation is hepatitis. Yeah. Fibrosis is cirrhosis. It leads to terrible things, cancer and death, et cetera, et cetera. Dr. Sherwin Schwartz is leading worldwide research on the disease right here in San Antonio. Rewind three years, we were in this very room with Dr. Schwartz learning how this machine helps scan for fatty liver disease. We asked for help from the viewers and hundreds of you showed up to get scanned. And we found, believe it or not, random people coming in, 70% of people coming through here had significant liver disease. Previous studies have shown there's a genetic defect prevalent in Hispanic people, namely Mexican Americans, that makes it more likely they'll get the disease, especially when combined with poor diet and little exercise. We found a lot of people with fatty liver disease we found many of these people have the genetic defect, and now, and now we're working on the drug. It would be the first ever drug to prevent fatty liver disease. Where basically people will get a panel looking for genetic defects. If they have a strong dose of this genetic defect, they'll go on this drug. And what the drug does is, it does away with the genetic defect that causes this fatty liver disease. The local team is in the early stages of research that could take years. So we need you again, San Antonio. Dr. Schwartz and his team are looking for more people to come get scanned to participate in this upcoming clinical trial for a possible drug to cure this disease. All of the information on our website, ksat.com. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.